Name changes can be big, like Pete's Super Submarines became Subway in 1968, or Blue Ribbon Sports choosing to call themselves simply Nike from 1972, or sometimes names changes can be quite subtle, like Starbucks dropped the word coffee in 2011, or the household cleaning product went from GIF to SIF. Either way, the groups behind these names wanted to adjust either their marketing strategy, their products, or simply to make their name shorter or easier to pronounce around the globe. There are so many reasons why these changes happen, big or small. Originally this channel called Flags in 50 Seconds, like Starbucks, I eventually dropped the word seconds and after a while debated the name Flags in 50 altogether. And so in the summer of 2023, I launched a competition to either rename or stick with my YouTube channel name and I got mixed reactions. Behind me are just some of the suggestions of alternative names offered and thank you to everyone who put their ideas forward. I also had a good number of people expressing their fondness for keeping the current name of Flags in 50. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who took part. After taking a considerable amount of time going through all the names, as well as taking some of the feedback about keeping the name, I eventually came up with the happy medium my thinking was, if I was to start a YouTube channel today, doing what I do right now, I wouldn't call it Flags in 50, as it's meaningless. However, wanting to keep with the theme of what I'd already had, and taking into consideration some of the ideas that had come through, my thinking was this. You ready for the great reveal? And here it is, Flags in Focus. It keeps the unique format, but changes 50 to Focus. They both start with F, so uh, good continuity there and it's a little more meaningful without losing the original identity. Masterful. Now I know what you're thinking, this was all a bit over the top for what it was, and you'd be correct. This really was a little bit of a storm in a teacup, but you've watched it so far, so sign up below to keep up to date with all the goings on on the newly named Flags in Focus, and we'll never talk about this again. Think of this as a subtle changes that the flag of Dominica went through in the 1980s, as opposed to the big extravagance that New Zealand managed with its change of the flag referendum in 2016, spending millions of dollars to keep what they already had. But I appreciate that this was no Rwanda change either. And as for the logo, well, as you can see, that stays to help tie everything together. Plus, if you click it, it helps to subscribe. Isn't it clever? The winners, well, I've chosen two, one from each camp, one who said keep the name and the other one who suggested some great ideas. Their names are both now on the screen and I'll be sending them a UK county flag of Bedfordshire, my home county, to add to their collection. Oh, yeah! And if there's a flag I've yet to cover, then drop it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do.